Hi everyone, I'm Mary Barak. Thank you for joining my live trading session where you will be able to see my live charts and my live PL, just as if you were sitting right here beside me, which I believe is the best way to learn trading. So welcome. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Plenty of links below if you want to trade the same platform I do, which is the Colmex Pro, or join me in my live trading room where I call my picks, which you are about to see live each and every day. So let me welcome my trading room members and start the trading session right now. Traders, we've seen the market going kind of sideways tomorrow. I mean, we were trending up, but then we came down and finished uh, slightly in green. But uh, coming from Friday, we've seen the market uh, moving lower in uh, quite a big way. And the fact that we did not succeed to move up yesterday. And of course, starting with a small gap down today, S&P down 0.2%. Um, Nasdaq is a bit down, of course. SQ is down 2.6%. It's a nice gap down, could be a gap and go. Disney starts down over 1%. Tesla was very weak yesterday and it starts with a gap down of 0.5%. Not a lot on the long side, like APLS, uh, which is up 9%, but normally doesn't have enough volume. Initial move in Tesla is up. I wouldn't mind shorting it under, if it comes down, of course, under 264.30. I'm posting SQ for short under 49.80. Oops, I'm short SQ, made a small mistake and fixed it, it cost me like 10 cents. Nvidia started with a big gap down yesterday and moved up, I wonder what's coming today. Could be shorted under 436. Market direction is definitely down. Or 436.50. SQ is not doing well. I'm gonna shut it down over 50.50. Now I'm out of SQ. In case it comes down, what's going on in Tesla? Up wow. almost 1%. Tesla daily looks quite nice, it's uptrending. But it was so weak yesterday. I'm still interested in NVIDIA short under 43650. Yeah. I'm in, I'm short NVIDIA. Market direction is not clear, S&P is going sideways, slightly up. about to short QCOM under 111.75 yeah. I'm short QCOM Nvidia still looking good, new low Nasdaq direction is slightly down. If 
I trust the Nasdaq, we should come down. If I trust the S&P, we're at the highs. Not, uh, not too much. I mean, just holding there. Nasdaq is over the highs. Change directions. I want to go long uh, Tesla over 267. NVIDIA. NVIDIA is going the wrong way. I'm long Tesla. I am also long Tesla. I'll wait for NVIDIA to calm down. It's in red. Okay. NVIDIA calm down sure. a little bit. Stop over 438.50. Over 267.30. I would like to add to Tesla if it moves up stop loss in tesla under 265.50 not good out of tesla soon now i'm out of tesla and video returns to the loss of course i'm glad about it but wouldn't mind going long tesla again if it moves higher Starting with two losers. Didn't trade too much size, but not pleasant. Two losers and two open trades. One in Qcom, which is doing good. Other one in Nvidia, which is touching the red zone right now. I mean, touching the green zone right now, sorry. Market still holding near the highs. Everything could change. S&P is over the highs right now. About to take a partial. About to take a partial in NVIDIA. It's doing good. It's doing really good now. Took my partial in NVIDIA. I'm more interested in going, uh, possibly going long meta because it's relatively strong. I want to add some size to my NVIDIA trade and I'm adding right now on this pullback. Add it to my short in NVIDIA. Not too much. What a failure in Tesla. It's a nice V-shape formation for short, you know, Scott? Yeah. If the market will come down, Tesla is likely to join. Except the market's on a little bit of an uptrend right now, so. Yes, I want to switch sides on Tesla go short under 264. It's a nice V-shape formation, which normally works well. And judging on the market direction and what Tesla did yesterday, Tesla should come down, I guess. Although it started very strong, this V-shape formation suggests it's supposed to fail. We've got some long topping tails in the S&P. And the Nasdaq. Normally it suggests that uh, we are about to change direction, but we need the next candle to tell us that because right now, well, according to the Nasdaq, we should come down right now. I want to add some more to NVIDIA on the 435. Gonna add a bit more now to NVIDIA short. About to short Tesla. I'm seeing some nasty red candles. I'm shorting now Tesla a bit before my planned entry because I think it's gonna come down and it did. Nasty red candle in the SP and the Nasdaq. 
I'm waiting a bit more to Tesla short. Qcom touching the lows right now. I'm not adding there, it's not a big mover, but I'm waiting for much more. I want to see a breakdown under 111. Moving to five minute candles on all of my charts. Tesla's approaching the lows. It's looking good. Just not seeing it. Bring Costco. New low Tesla. Cool. Tesla looks fine. I'm up. Just over $4,000 here. However, my previous trade in Tesla, not that it matters, was down $3,300. And I thought this one should reach approximately one and a half point, which means uh, just over five grand. And it is getting there, as you can see, just touching the five grand mark right now. I'm sure 3,000 shares, it's looking good. Good, over five grand. I'm getting ready for a partial. Getting ready for a partial in Tesla. It has reached my target right now. Over two points. Good. Now taking my partial in Tesla. Market helped. The S&P just came down. Very close to the lows. Very nice. Nasdaq under the lows. Nvidia haven't yet joined the party. I'm waiting for it to come down. Qcom is holding near the lows. Tesla just moved me to green territory, but uh, to be honest on that, I don't have a profit cushion right now. Everything could change. Paper is looking nice for short. Okay, I want to short it under 62 PYPL. Lots of buy. Okay, short now. Actually, I could add a little bit more size adding. It's not a big move. Stop should be over 60 to 40. So risking around 40 cents, maybe less. Qcom, new low. Haven't yet moved under the 111 mark. Now we did. Tesla keeps moving lower, looking well. Okay, the S&P is accelerating lower. We're coming down, we're under the lows. Right now, the S&P is down just 0.3%, not much. NASDAQ is down 0 0.6. I wanna cover some more Tesla here. Covering now. I only have 60 cents in Qcom, it's not enough. I was looking for 80, which means it should move under the whole number another 10 cents. I was very close. I want to see it under 110.90. Come on Qcom, just another 15 cents. Let's do it. Sure you can. As long as I see the S&P continues to move lower, I'm waiting with Qcom. But if the S&P will start pulling back up a little bit, I just have to take a partial regardless of reaching my plan target or not. Paper is not going anywhere, but still looks fine. Come on Qcom, yep, almost there, now touching my target. Okay, good, over my target. I don't want to see it moving over 92. If it moves over 92, I'll take my partial. Let's get a bit more. Let's get a bit more. Come on, Qcom. Yeah. Oh, come on. Now, took my partial in Qcom. OK, 
okay, S&P new low, we are accelerating lower, NASDAQ is down 0.74, S&P is down 0.36, not much, not much, but it is accelerating lower, it's a nice down day today, and the lows in PayPal is 61.80, when we get a breakdown under the lows and another 20 cents or so wasn't looking for much stop loss would have been 35 to 40 cents so I'm trying to get box with the same number which means it needs to come down under the lows in another 10 to 20 cents okay finally Nvidia is joining the party coming down to the lows oh, nice moving QCOM it's too extended I'm waiting to cover some more covering some more in QCOM come on PayPal under 6170 please nice bear flag in Tesla it continues just small size left Look at the S&P, the way it comes down. It's too extended to the downside. So is the Nasdaq, too extended to the downside. I am expecting a pullback. S&P is down 0.45. Nasdaq is down 0.85. Big down day so far in the Nasdaq, less in the S&P. But uh, looks like we're just accelerating lower. Now, guys, take a look at the daily of the S&P. It looks bad. I mean, we tried to move higher, then we came down, tried to move higher again, now at a very clear support area. But if this support area is about to be broken, and I think it was just broken right now, then next station is around 434, something like that in the SPY. And that's going to be the real support and big a big big decision making right there for the S&P whether we're going to crash down or not but right now we just broke the recent support and we're looking bad we're looking bad okay PayPal is about to reach my target very soon not quite but you know I am getting ready for a partial needs to come down under 70 come on it touched down I needed 65 actually wow look at the market it's accelerating now in a big way so is the Nasdaq big downside move now if you short anything you should be looking for partials because this cannot <laughs> situation is you know we gotta look for a pullback a strong pullback soon I mean it's very very rare what we're seeing right now that we're so much extended to the downside without a pullback a pullback is due real soon I gotta get my partials definitely in Nvidia and in PayPal let's wait a few more seconds then I'll have to take my partial in PayPal because if the S&P is going to pull back up, PayPal will too. Taking down my partial, I do see a pullback in the S&P. Maybe it's a bit too early to say. We have to wait a little bit more, but I do see the first green sign right there. I want to reduce some size in my added size in NVIDIA. It did well, but you know, it's not moving that much. If it's going to move over 4, 3, 4, 50, I'll reduce some size. Reduced. Small Are you short left. NVIDIA, Mayor? Yeah, I added. I added on the pullback. I added on the pullback. I'm originally short NVIDIA. It uh, was my first green trade today, Scott. And then I added, but really the added quantity did not do that great. Green, but not that much definitely not what I was expecting 
Traders, uh, thank you for joining this uh, live trading session today. As you can see, the market uh, clearly chose direction. If you look at the S&P 500, you can see that uh, the last few days we were trending lower. Let me put it up here so you can see. So look at uh, Friday. Yesterday, the market kind of rested. I thought it's going to come down yesterday. I was wrong. Actually finished around zero yesterday, small losing day. And today, when we started with the gap down, I expected to be a gap and go and I was right. Initially, the market moved up a little bit, which put me in a little bit of a problem. But uh, then I joined the short game because, again, the expectation is that the market will move lower and I'm short PayPal, which is doing great. I'm still opening with 400 shares and small profit. Uh, Qualcomm, which is doing real good. Again, all of them are relatively weak. For example, if you look at the S&P right now, it's down 0.47. And I'm shorting a stock like Qualcomm, which is down almost 2%. And I'm shorting PayPal, which is down almost 2%. And I'm shorting NVIDIA, which is down 1.3%. And I'm shorting Tesla, which is down 0.9%. You always want to short stocks which are relatively uh, stronger than the market when the market's moving up or outperforming the market, meaning weaker than the market when the market's moving down, which is exactly what I did today. I mean, initially, uh, I tried to go long Tesla when the market was moving up and that was a wrong decision but then I noticed I noticed a change of direction and I just you know joined the shorting party anyway um, just uh, the first uh, 38 minutes of trading session today and I'm up just over five grand including my open trades and I'm doing well it's a nice start for my trading session I'm going to keep trading right now for another hour or so but that's it for this live session today. Thank you very much for joining. Please hit that like button if you like this session. I will appreciate that. And plenty of links below if you want to join me in my live trading room where I call my trades each and every day live. So thank you again and I'll see you in the next video.